Thanks, Ron. <laughs> well, bring your furry friends for a photo op with Santa himself, all in support, of course, of VHF. Lori Miller is here. She's the Development and Public Relations Director, and she's got a little furry friend herself. And who is this, Lori? This is little Nike. He's uh, <laughs> just shy of three months old, and he's just practicing his poses for Santa right it now. He really is very regal. I mean, he's, he's very just mature, a, yes. Mm -hmm. And well, <laughs> and up for adoption. Up for short, he will be here shortly in time for pictures with Santa, and he right. would love nothing more. He has a, a list, and he's been a very good boy. So. I'll say, and look at you. <laughs> You're ready for Santa, he's and look at you. So this has been a fun event, and mm -hmm. people, I'm sure, line up to get the photos. Oh, yeah. Give us the details. Sure, so this is... Oh, that this is our 38th year of doing Pet Pictures with Santa, so the longest running Pet Pictures, or well, Pictures with Santa in general in the Tri-State. And uh, we have the real Santa, Santa himself. Oh, he's going to have time, huh? Yeah, wow. he's, got, he's fit us into his schedule. It's at Washington Square Mall on the November 2nd and 3rd. And I know folks are thinking, but we haven't had Halloween yet. But it's going to be around the corner, and you, we also give you plenty of time. You can get your Christmas cards made and sent out. Um, yeah, so you get a, a digital uh, print sent to you, only $30, and you get two poses. You don't have to bring pets. It can actually just be your kiddos or your family. It's open to everyone, really, but it's, uh, you know, animals are of all sorts are welcome. He's posed with ponies before, snakes, rats. Santa is very He's brave. a good nature. Rats, <laughs> rats would be in snakes where I would great. draw the line, but there yeah, you go. He, he has seen it all. I'm sure he has, especially <laughs> if you've been doing it for a while. Yeah. Well, it's a fun idea and unique, too. And people yeah. do. I mean, I get Christmas cards and ornaments yeah. from people that have the pictures oh, yeah, and the pets on there. Yeah, with those, the digital uh, pictures that we send you, you can, you know, send those off to CVS and have everything made. and mm -hmm. Or T-shirts or get whatever you want to make. all sorts of fun gifts. Well, <laughs> you know, we talk about this when you're here, and it, it always bears repeating, the need, the ongoing need for funding because it costs a lot of money to care for the pets who are in your care. Sure, even just little Nike here, you know, to cover the cost of his neuter and care, you're looking at several hundred dollars. Uh, and right now, we did just take a, a lot of dogs from Florida who were, you know, from escaped the disaster, from, right. from the disaster area. So most of them will be needing to be spayed and neutered. But at any given time, we have six to seven hundred animals in our care which just blows my mind. It does. Um, it's a need nationwide and it's a need locally. So uh, the more adopters we have, the more supporters we have, the more lives we can save. Well, let's talk about fostering a minute because mm -hmm. that's an important piece of Absolutely. transition care. People, you know, maybe thinking about it, what's the process like and what are the responsibilities? Sure. So super simple. You just apply online so we get your information and our uh, foster coordinator can find a, the right fit for your home. It's okay if you have other pets. It's okay if you've never owned pets before. We'll find a good match. You can foster anything from little Nike here to a whole litter of them. Uh, also dogs needing breaks from the shelter. That helps tremendously. We provide everything for you. Food. Oh, really? Uh, okay resources were available on call for you if you have an emergency so we really set our fosters up for success and when 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 pets are fostered are they more successful when they are adopted i think so and it also helps us you know whenever i come and bring a pet on tv i can help um, promote them better because i know what they're like in a household setting you know if they're house trained they're working on it what their little quirks are so it gives us a wealth of information and it also helps them acclimate into a new home easier i think yeah that, i mean all of those pieces are so important most of us don't think about that sure. we just see the little furry face and not realize all the work that went into oh, getting yeah, a lot of time that pet ready to come into your home. <laughs> so come get your pictures made, support VHS, and maybe, well, Nike won't be there except to pose, it would be my guess. Sure. Somebody's going to be holding Nike <laughs> as a new mama or daddy. Yeah. Thank you, Laurie. Thank it's a you. cutie. Look at that. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Oh. Thank you.